Hello and welcome to the channel where we talk about all things Y Sports and chill with friends. My name is Liam and today we are going to the academy. Now, if you are new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you enjoy this video, please make sure to hit that like button. We do our Weiss and Chill Academy every Tuesday and another YouTube video every Friday doing whatever the hell I want. So please make sure that if you want to be notified of when I upload my next videos, please make sure to hit that bell icon. As well as that, please make sure to check out my other social medias on Twitch, on Twitter and on Discord. Links are in the description below. But let's go to class. Now in today's video, in light of Springfest currently happening, I would like to discuss what I do to prepare for a Weishwart event. And by this, I specifically mean official events such as Springfest, uh, the Bush of Road Championship Series, uh, in-person events. I'm not going to cover online events, uh, but I will probably do another video in terms of what I recommend for your online game setup. Uh, and I reckon I'll do that maybe in the next few weeks. So if you're interested and want to see that sort of video, let me know in the comments below. And again, if you've got any recommendations of what I should, like, uh, what videos and what content I should provide as part of my Wise and Chill Academy, please let me know in the comments below or on my Discord. Again, that link is in the description below. Now, the first thing to do is to proceed to the scoop phase. No, the first thing to do is to make sure you're aware of the event, the event regulations, and the event requirements. And by this I mean, is it an English event? Is it a mixed language event? Is it a Japanese only event? Are you allowed to have a certain type of deck? Is it Neo standard? Is it standard? Those sort of questions you need to make sure that you are cleared up on in terms of what to expect, what decks you can play, and you know, just to make sure you're actually prepared for the event. And in that same thing, make sure you confirm the day, make sure you confirm the location, and make sure you can get there. Now, the next step is to actually think about what sort of deck you want to play. Now, events usually get all, um, announced two to three months before they actually happen. Not always. Sometimes it's a bit sooner than that. Uh, sometimes it's longer than that. But it gives you time to plan, okay, what sets are going to be out at that time? What sets am I allowed to use? Because now bear in mind that with the new Bushy Road rules, if it is an official tournament for English, you cannot use a set that is uh, less than two weeks old. Um, for example, if a set came out on a Friday, you could not use that event, that same set on the Saturday of the same week. Um, so be aware of that, make sure you've got your timings right, and make sure you are playing a legal deck. But also take the time before an event to play test, to practice, to fine tune your deck, to understand the ins and outs of your deck. And, you know, this is a long process. Again, it's, and it's also a very community driven process or community reliant process where you want to play games against different decks. You want to experience different scenarios. So the, in that sense, I would say in terms of the actual deck decision and deck playing, this happens weeks, months in advance where you really knuckle down, get some practice in and learn what you want to play. Once you've decided what you're playing and that you decide that you're actually going to the event, make sure you check the pre-registrations. The amount of times I've seen people go to an event, not pre-register, and have to be turned away as a result of that is unfortunate. So if there is a pre-registration, make sure you sign up on it, make sure you fill out all the forms correctly, make sure that, that there is no reason for your form to be voided for whatever reason. And if there's an issue with a pre-registration form, make sure you let the tournament organizer know straight away to get it resolved as soon as possible because they might not have spotted it and it's gonna impact the entire community and not just yourself. So once you confirm that you're going, once you confirm the location and things like that, and once you've confirmed you know, you're pre-registered, the next thing is to make sure you arrange your travel and any accommodation that you might require. So that includes if you're traveling to a different country, if you need planes, trains, car, um, whether you I need to go to a different state in the US, for example, as well. Um, you know, in terms of making sure that you've got the right hotel or that you've got people with you to stay in like a hostel or something like that to save a bit of money. Um, yeah, absolutely make sure that your travel is sorted, make sure your accommodation is sorted at least so that when it comes to the day you haven't got to worry about that and again i would book in advance as possible just so that you know you get slightly cheaper rates and you don't screw yourself in the long run or you don't forget i nearly forgot when going ready for france you forgot 
Thankfully, I had friends to remind me. I'm useless sometimes. But once you've got all that sorted, then you've just got to wait for the day. And like the day or two before, make sure you pack a bag of everything that you need to survive a tournament day. Now, tournament days are long. They can be anywhere between six and 12 hours, depending on the size of the tournament pool, the number of rounds that you survive for, if you go into top cut. There's a lot of things that go into a tournament length. And I would make sure that you have got enough money to get things like lunch, if you want to buy lunch or bring a packed lunch and snacks. Make sure you've got plenty of sugar to make sure your brain is still going. Maybe some fruit, like some bananas to get your potassium in. Uh, make sure you've got plenty of fluids. You need to hydrate. But again, make sure you abide to Bushy Road floor rules, whereby if you do have a drink, it's got to be on the floor with a steeled cap, like a bottle. Other things to make sure as well, make sure you've got a tick list of things that you absolutely need for the tournament. For example, your deck. Uh, so potentially new sleeves, potentially new over sleeves if you do need them, so that they are fresh and from the same pack. So it means it's less likely to get hit by a deck check uh, mishap. Uh, make sure you've got a play map which is legal, i.e. it is a, a licensed product that is not from a competing card game or a competing game in general. Also make sure that it's not inappropriate, i.e. it's not a lewd map or anything like that because we are anime people, we are degenerates. We know we like lewd stuff. And as well, if you want to, prepare a trade binder. If you've got stuff that you want to trade at some point, or you know you want to try and arrange trades, please do that. Now, you've got to be careful with things like selling and things like that. You should not be selling at an event, but you can arrange trades, or you can arrange things for later on. Um, obviously, we all know that people, especially in this community, they do sell cards. We know it's not a hidden thing, and it's something that shouldn't be stopped because it does you know, provide the community with what they need but you cannot sell at an event. If you are caught, it can cause issues, it can cause warnings, it can cause disqualifications if you're not careful. Um, so be aware of that. Um, but by all means, bring a binder, speak to people, and see what you can do. Um, again, it's a trading card game community, a trading card game community. We trade cards. We like shiny cardboard. We, we like shiny, shiny cardboard, cardboard way too much. much. And again, just have a think about what else you might need for the day. Again, extra food, uh, pen and paper if you need to take notes. Not during a game because you're not allowed to, but just between rounds and things like that. Make sure you've got like a phone charger, maybe a portable battery to make sure your phone stays charged. Uh, make sure you've got a secure bag. You might even want like a padlock to make sure people don't get into your bag. There's all sorts of things you could have. You could go as above and beyond as you want. It's entirely down to you, but I would prepare an itinerary list to make sure you've got everything and you tick it off as you put it into your bag to make sure you do not miss anything. And the final thing I want to just put down there, and it's something that should be considered throughout the entire process, communicate with your friends, communicate with the community. You know, I know that the UK community is awesome. I know that the Weiss and Chill community on Discord and on YouTube and on Twitch is awesome as well. Um, it's global, which is absolutely nuts. Um, yeah, the community for the game is amazing, is amazing, and you are sure to have friends within the community if you are part of it. Um, speak with them. Talk about making travel cheaper by sharing a car, a uh, carpool if you can drive. Or if you're going together and you're making a weekend of it, you need to stay the day and get accommodation. Share accommodation, make it cheaper. Um, again, talk to your community, talk to your friends. They might have some ideas of trying to save some money during an event. Or again, they might have ideas of how to play certain decks and to help you decide what deck you're going to play. Um, yeah, speaking with your friends and being in touch with your community is so important in preparing for in-person events because it, one, makes it that little bit more enjoyable and also it prepares you and hopefully saves you money in the long run as well. But that's about it in this video. If there's anything I've missed, please let me know in the comments below and any advice that you would share with your players or with the community, again, put that below as well because again, I'm trying to keep these videos short and snappy and I talk a lot, so yeah. But that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you've enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that like button. Again, we upload videos every Tuesday and Friday. So if you want to be informed of when I next upload YouTube content, hit that notification bell as well. Uh, as well as that, you can check out my other socials on Twitch, on Twitter, and on Discord. Links are in the description below. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Class is dismissed. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye!
fucking useless sometimes. <laughs>